And because I have the time and ability to, I'm going to make another half hour video. I was just like, I don't really feel like making an hour video. So, make a goddamn killing in the low hack SE. <laughs> Got his new shirt. I wish I had mine. Except mine has uh, three quarter sleeves, so they end like right here. But those look kind of silly on boys. Well. Oh. <laughs> this makes sense. This is the first time you get to see Dave's eyebrows. I love his eyebrows. Look at them. They're so thick and black for no reason. It is the perfect crime. <laughs> Where did he get Bro's hat? <laughs> oh my god. Like seriously, where did he even get half this shit? Where's the Eve transfer from John? Virtual Pork Hollow, version 441.3, of course. And it's just, whoa, holy cr did what? That is a really big fucking number. Million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, quintillion, sextillion, se 216 septillion dollars. Well, moon dollars. Looks like Egbert came through. He wires you his measly boom buck. It's not much, but it is immediately funneled into the pipelines of your various investment scams and quickly begins paying dividends. The figures are tight. You have this shit on f fiduciary lockdown? Fiduciary? Fiduciary? I don't know. Dookie? <coughs> I said dookie. Never mind. <laughs> the economy belongs to you. Time to answer Terzy. Get your hands out of your pants, Dave. Gallows Calibrator, GC, began trolling Turntech Godhead, TG. Hey, Dave, big news. Hey, have I made enough money yet? Of course you have. More than we could ever possibly figure out what to do with. But that is not the big news. Okay. I made you another comic. Fuck, about time. What took so long? I resent the implication, Dave, that I am not working tirelessly on your behalf as well as on the behalf of the fine arts. Just because you go for hours without hearing from me doesn't mean I am not slaving away here and making you rich. Financially and artistically. It's just I don't have the luxury of your expanded time frame, Mr. Three Days in One. Okay, cool, let's see it. Is there anything that a human cool kid cannot do? Uh, teach me, Dave. <laughs> I can't figure out how to use the computers. When will this coolest kid come and take us all to school? At the internet. Blah, so fucking cool. Ah. I love it. She made herself, Car Cat, John, Rose, and Dave Sprite. <laughs> and she even added in his thick ass eyebrows. <laughs> That's amazing. Terzi, you're my hero. <laughs> I wish she drew her skin bright blue. <laughs> oh my god. I doubt it. Damn, that's incredible. The phenomenon of the cool kid is a fascinating one, Dave. I have studied it. Did you know that we do not have cool kids on Alternia? Oh shit, really? That loud sound of shock you just smelled with my jaw hitting the floor. It's true. Some try to be, I think, without even being aware of the template they are striving for. It is a sad spectacle. But I think you are probably the coolest cool kid, Dave. All these other h horns' asses surfing on keyboards and putting hats on turnways are a bunch of stupid numbnuts. Nump nuts. They have nothing on the one true strider. Yeah, I mean, I can't possibly argue with any of that. So are we done making money yet or what? Oh, I don't know. Technically we were a long time ago. Yeah, I kind of figured. But it's a fun way to stretch out the time you've got left, isn't it? I'm not complaining, but you said there was something specific we were working toward here. I mean, aside from buying up all the nastiest free motifs. Yes, both are true. And there are some you haven't bought yet. That is important. We need to keep you competitive with John. Competitive. Man. Don't matter what I do, I'm not gonna outpace Egbert. <laughs> don't say that. You've gotta believe in yourself, Dave. Hey, it's not like the future's a mystery or anything. We've both seen it. Well, I've seen it. We've just got a whiff of it. Like a hungry beggar loitering across the street of an olive garden. 
Just because a filthy vagrant's barred from entry don't mean a dude knows, doesn't know Italian food's nearby. It's a fucking fact of his nose. His accent is coming out. I love it. Do not distract from the issue with your sassy remarks about Earth Italian food. Actually, she wouldn't know how to pronounce Italian. Earth Italian food. Yeah, okay. John may serve you your own bulge in a silver turntable pre-scratch. But what about after that? We need you to keep pace. It is the classic struggle. The human earth cool kid versus the earth human nerd. Who will win? Dave, Dave, Dave. Yeah, fine. So what's the other thing we're accomplishing here? Does that get to be not an obnoxious secret yet? Yes, now is the time. You must wire your boon dollars to my account. Okay, so this is your game. To get rich off me. Yes. But seriously, it's important. It is critical to all our plans. Alright, well, it's not like I even have a problem parting with this useless bullshit money. How much do you need? 413 boom bonds. And that's all. <laughs> I can afford to give you a fuckload more than that. How about I give you an even boom bank? No. It must be exactly that amount. Okay, just to be clear, that's 413, not A-I-E. Yeah, jerk. What's up with that number? I've seen it around. They are the numerals of the blind prophets. What's that mean? I don't know. Okay, awesome. Also, at the exact end of this conversation, you must wire the money to my account exactly six hours and twelve minutes into the past. My past, relative to my present moment as of typing this. You mean I can do that? Then why weren't we just wiring money into the past for these investment escapades instead of doing all this time traveling? Because that wasn't the plan. We had to play along with the stable time loops we were presented with. You know, make sure all those days running around existed in the first place. Oh yeah, I knew that. It's just frustrating sometimes. Like, paradox space makes you do everything the hard way. Yeah, tell me about it. But hey, it's been fun playing along, hasn't it? Sure. We've got to keep being delicate with time. If you start bending the rules and taking shortcuts, that's when dead days start piling up. Dead days are the enemy. As delightful as it is to smell their sweet candy blood everywhere. Yeah, reminds me. I made you a comic a while ago. You did? Yeah, here. <laughs> well, time to spaz out on top of this shitty brick wall from a Google image search with these fucking watermarks all over it. Damn, nobody is stealing this image or anything. Copyright, 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 copyright. And do some other bullshit I usually do. Like being weirdly hyperactive and flirty all the time. <laughs> Ain't surprising nobody with any of this nonsense shit that smells like daffodils or something. Fuck! <laughs> There's pretty much no way I'm getting off on this somehow. <laughs> Meme explode. She would though. She'd drown in red Kool Aid. This is the best comic I ever saw. Dave, this comic is borderline pornographic. You are a really fucked up kid. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you say. Fucking aliens. It is fantastic. I love it. Okay. Cool. Hey, Boon Bond's gonna coming now. Braced yourself six hours ago. Be the troll girl? <laughs> you are suddenly the troll girl. In a different game session. In the past. Sniff Skyward. Mmm, <laughs> it smells like... Mmm. Smells like... Fucking blue. I don't know what the fuck things that are blue are like. It's not dark enough blue to be blueberry. It smells blue. You have recently retreated to the Vale to hide from a mysterious demon which appears to be bent on your destruction. Suddenly nobody understands anything. There is not much to do but wander in the laboratory while the others squabble amongst each other and search for answers. You point your nose skyward. It is a refreshing blue minty dot. Oh, okay, so it smells like blue mint against the medium's dark canvas. It is very far away from this meteor, though. It is hard to pick up its scent, clearly. Deploy Smelloscope. <laughs> you make use of your trusty Smelloscope, an item you crafted during your adventure. It comes in handy so many times. Take a whiff. <laughs> your keen nose penetrates deep into the sniffosphere, I mean, insiposphere, and zeroes in on the familiar honey-sweet smell of Prospect. Thank goodness it is still safe. It would be terrible if the demon were to... Blow it up! Oh no! You just got hit in the face with fucking apple surprise. You take the birth of the stellar small explosion like a sour apple punch to the snout. 
return to party. She lost her glasses. She's actually using her walking stick. Holy crap. You suppose you better report to the student teammates. Perhaps a memo is in order. But today there will be little reason for rumpus in your part of town. Today is a very sad day. You are all in bigger trouble than you suspected. Whoops. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, you return to a room full of commotion. What is this guy staring at? Always with the staring. He is so weird. I <laughs> gives these expressions. He's like, holy shit, motherfucker. And what is she doing at the chainsaw over there? The rich scent of chocolatey blood fills the room. Good grief, you can't turn your back on these lunatics for a second. And here is your bold leader, passed out on the floor. He is sleeping like a wiggler. You wonder what he could be dreaming about. Prospect is gone now, and he never had the chance to wake up. Poor guy. Report news to party town subscribers. <laughs> she walks into the room and people chains on people's legs off. I'm like, it smells like chocolate in here. I'm gonna go type. <laughs> no wonder she's Sarah Silverman. It is important to keep your loyal subscribers of the past and future informed. It is your duty as a dedicated bulletin administrator. Still, it's hard to find the words to break this to them. The party town has been hosting nothing but bad news lately. Open memo. Oh, Tara, you're going to give me a headache. Current Gallus Calibrator, CGC, right now open memo on board Rainbow Rumpus Party Town. Bad news, everyone. Um. Future Gallus Calibrator, CGC, three minutes from now responded to memo. Tara, something has come up. Oh? Yes, you will need to cut this memo short. Everyone, the bottom line is that Prospect was just destroyed. I am sorry to say. Hmm. Future, adios to Orador. Fat. Three hours and 14 minutes from now, responded to memo. Is that what happened? Yes, Tavros. Hmm. Wow, it took you three hours to figure that out? What the hell have you been doing? Mostly getting used to these legs, falling downstairs and things like that. Future Centaur's Testicle, FCT, three hours and 14 minutes from now, responded a memo. I'm quite sure I warned you about attempting to navigate stairs while adjusting to the new equipment. Future Arachnid Grip, FAG, three hours and 14 minutes from now, responded a memo. Yes, you told him, bro. I distinctly remember you telling him about stairs, but he didn't listen. He never listens. None of you do, really. And now all of your extra lives are wasted. What a bunch of losers. I'm out of here. FAG banned herself from responding to Memo. Well, not all of them. The Dirt Streamers are fine as far as I know. Future, Arsenic Catnip, FAC, three hours and 14 minutes from now, responded to Memo. Um, no, not quite. She is referring to the fact that Durst was just destroyed, too. I saw him during my catnip. <laughs> Wait a minute, catnap? He blew it right on up. Hmm. Hmm. Feffery was sleeping, too, and now she will not wake up. I am very perturbed by this. Everyone, please. Past Terezi has something important to attend to in a moment, so I am afraid I must close this memo. Please scan the bulletin for future memos to continue discussing this and other intriguing topics. As always, it has been a pleasure serving your trans timeline discussion needs here at the Rainbow Rumpus Party Town. FAG unbanned herself from responding to memo. You doofus! Shut the fuck up! FGC banned FAG from responding to memo. FGC closed memo. Wait for this important thing to happen. On the instruction of yourself from three minutes in the future, you wait for something to happen. You wonder what could possibly happen that will cause you to become your future self in three minutes and interrupt your past self's memo and tell her to wait for three minutes doing nothing but wondering what could possibly happen that would cause you to become her future self in... Hey, someone just wired you money. That's odd. Except transfer. Huh. 413 boom bucks. The numerals of the blind prophets. A sign, perhaps? A secret message? But from who? This makes no sense. Wait. Those are not boom bucks. Some of the digits are obscured. You need to take a closer look. Which is to say, a closer lick. 413 boom bonds? That is an absolutely preposterous amount of money. And she's making the face too. She's like... Confer with network administrator. Gallus Calibrator GC began trolling twin Armageddon's TA. Salix, I need you to trace a money transfer. Someone sent you money? Yes. Why is someone sending you money? And why now all the time? It's like we can even use it. Who's this douchebag? That's what I want you to find out. Okay. Bam. Done. I am fucking incredible. Who is it? Someone in our universe. 
Can you be more specific? Universes are kind of huge. Someone from Alternia? No, no, I mean someone from our universe, the one we just made. Wow, already? That was fast. We just made it. Yes, here, but we're completely outside of the temporal envelope, remember. The entire history of this thing exists already in its entirety from our perspective. Its flow of time means nothing to us. So we don't have to wait for anything, it's all already there. Yeah, that's true. Still seems weird, though. 413 moon bombs? Damn. Someone here has been playing escrow, I guess. Wonder why they send us money. Maybe they know we made them? Maybe it's like a tip? Like, thanks, dude, for making us exist? Hmm. Why 413? Why that number? Any idea? Numerals of the Blind Prophets. Other than that, I don't know. Well, seeing as we don't know shit about the guy. Blind seems like the operative concept. Kind of like a blind donation, and now we're fucking rich. So I guess you could say they're the numerals of the Blind Prophets. Her. So then I guess it's from an alien. Yeah. Maybe we should tell Carcat whenever he wakes up. Eh, this is probably not important for him to bother with. If he finds out, he'll probably want to hatch some dumbass plan that makes no sense. And badger me into doing a lot of mind-numbing busy work. I'd leave him alone. What does he look like, our blind donor? Here, come here, I'll open up. I'll open him up in a viewport. <coughs> <coughs> Dang, it's getting hard to do with all these voices. Okay. Let's shed some light on the subject. Haha, <laughs> that wasn't even his or a pun, you doofus. That was the joke. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look! It's porn! Cleffrey's like, porn? <laughs> what is it? It's... Oh, it's funny that it only counts the moment he arrived on Earth. Who's this douchebag? It's funny that they would make the accent like that, though, because he wouldn't pronounce the C-H with a kind of lisp that he has. Because if you think about it, he only lisps straight S's, like this. He doesn't do, like, shit in that sort of thing. He's already doing it like this. So he wouldn't say shit, like sit. Because that, that motion for your mouth makes zero sense, even when you're lisping. Unless the THCH is supposed to be <sighs> But I'm reserving that lisp for a character who comes in later. So when I do his voice, it's going to sound like this. That's not the kind of lisp that he appears to have, but I digress. It drives me up the wall and back down again when people write out Solix's lisp in a fic, and then it drives me even further up the wall and through the roof when they do that and they just replace every S without even thinking about it. Because that makes no sense. Deuce bag? You'd say, who's this douche bag? Oh, The youngster receives striking new eyewear. Quite a handsome set. Perhaps it is customary for this species after emerging from the trials in the brooding caverns? Or just maybe this is some sort of cool kid you were dealing with here. <laughs> it seems the child's Lucis was slain in the collision. He will grow up an orphan, just like you. This adult alien male appears to be taking on the role of his custodian instead of killing the boy outright. What a fascinating culture. The fellow retrieves the Lucis carcass. This appears to be a gentleman who knows better than to let good pony meat go to waste. Observe, cool kid. He's such a cutie. You learn much of this young creature civilization and its customs. The adult's puppet assistant commences the standard feeding ritual. It's the world's coolest baby food. Little cool kid is making a mess of his lovely horse leather bib. It is about as adorable as it gets. <laughs> Aww. This race appears to be quite martially adept, even from early childhood. They must have proven to be very powerful escrow players. No wonder they managed to make so much money. You suddenly understand everything. Oh, uh, bro's good at that. I was studying the type of uh, flash stepping that he was doing, actually. Why do they have to be so cute? <laughs> 
See, this is it, it drives me crazy as well when people state that canonically bro is an abusive asshat. It's fine if you want to do it in fic, because alternate character interpretation is really cool, but in canon, I think he's pretty much concretely shown to be not, you know, some child-beating jackass. And your name? Insufferable prick. You cannot name him yet, no matter how insufferable you find the school kid to be. You will need to wait until his wriggling day when he turns six solar sweeps. Because that's when everybody gets their names. <laughs> Mr. Appleberry Blast needs to step off. This kid is yours to mess with. You smell them first. <laughs> Troll this awesome cool kid. Yellow's Calibrator, GC, began trolling turn tech godhead, TG. Hey, Earth Boy. Wait, I just assumed you were a boy. Maybe you're a girl? I don't know much about your weird hornless species. I guess you could be. Yes, I'm a girl. Oh, really? Earthlings are really bizarre. No offense. What is your species called? North American hollering phallus baboon. I think he might be pulling my frond, female earthling. It's no, it's true, we are sorry. highly endangered. When our territory is threatened, that's when the indiscriminate fucking begins. Fuck a circus tent down a gas tank, bunch it up in there good, slam the lid and drive away. Beep beep, albino hairless dick monkey coming through. I'm not sure what that means, but I suspect it was something highly lascivious. The glittering civilization before you was built on angry ape fuck power alone. Stand agog and marble, bitch. <laughs> okay, this is nonsense. You are a joker. Like me. My name is Terzi. What's yours? Shaggy too dope. Okay, Shaggy. See, I can smell deceit. Lies have a subtle odor. Easy to miss at first. But the more they pile up, the more they stink. That is not your real name. Okay, sorry. It's Ben Stiller. Also, I don't think you're really a girl. Nope. Sorry to disappoint you, dude. I am a girl, not a boy. Don't care. This first encounter is not going as well as I'd hoped. Oh man, another failed trolling attempt. I had such high hopes, Trapezi. It started... <laughs> I had such high hopes, Trapezi. It started out brilliantly. Terezi! And I am not trolling you. I am just trying to get to know a little about you and your species. I just discovered it, and I am curious. Hey, excuse me, but it says right in the head of this conversation that you're trolling me. Pester Trump always knows. Oh. Oh yeah. But, okay, this might be hard for an earth baboon to understand, but troll is a verb that has a lot of nuance. The word can mean a lot of things. For instance, I am a troll. No shit. No, I mean, that's what my species is called. Okay, let me just set aside some time to be stupid enough to believe that. Hey, looks like next month is chemical lobotomy month. You're in luck. Oh god, what a smartass. Smartassiest alien ever. So, what do you think? Time to block you yet or what? No, well, let's keep talking. Um, what are you doing now? Drawing a comic. Hey, I like to draw too. I'm really quite great at it. Awesome. Can you show me your comic? Nah. Come on. I will draw you something in return. It will be a cultural exchange. I don't know. You seem kind of young to me, and this is like borderline pornographic. How old are you? Six. God damn. Okay, now you're messing with me. You aren't six. No, it's true. Whatever, that's some bullshit. Okay, fuck it. Just don't tell your parents. What are parents? That's just about the saddest thing I've ever heard get said. Here. <laughs> the Adventures of Cool Dude and Stoner Lou. <laughs> oh shit, there are boobs in this. I might need to censor this. Or see what YouTube has to say. Oh dude, I think I smoked too much pot. That's asshole talk. Blam. You just need more pot. Have one of my hoes. Bonk. I be passing out bitches like cheap cigars. Aw oh, yeah. Look at them boobies. Dave, how old are you? <laughs> I am not sure what is pornographic about that. It's just kind of strange. I guess. It's pretty good though. It's okay. I'm not thrilled with this direction though. I think it's too much like my bro stuff. Need to figure out how to figure out my own ironic statement to make. Spread my wings, you know? Yes, I think you can do that. You just have to figure out what the truth is inside you. Pretty deep, troll girl. It's true. There's a lot in your mind which is concealed from your surface perception. You just need to become aware of it. Close your eyes and tell me what you see in your mind space. Okay. I see that fucking puppet. Haha. <laughs> yes, your adult custodian servant puppet. Uh, what? What else do you see? 
Man, I don't know. Where's this drawing you promised me? Oh, yeah. Hang on. Okay, here you go, Ben Stiller. <laughs> For Ben Stiller. Near. Oh, my fucking hell. That is horrendous. In the most beautiful way. Thank you, Ben. God damn. That mouth. It's like, I don't know, a fucking pork chop. Jesus. I mean, Jesus. So overwhelmed, I can't even damn type. Yes, well, Ben, I am drawing with a mouse, you know. Is there even any other way to draw on a computer? Fucking doubt it. I'm starting to think your name isn't Ben. I think that was just another ruse. Tell me your real name. Okay, let's say it's Dave. Why not? Dave. That smells like truth. I will decide to believe it. Fuck. Okay, Dave. I have a lot to do. But I will get back to you. What the hell could you possibly have to do? Doesn't seem like you're into trolling as much as your numb nut friends. My friends? Are you suggesting others like me have trolled you? Yeah, what? Well, didn't you get the memo? I write the memos. I might not have written this one yet, though. I should probably run this by... Ha, uh, my leader. Your leader. That's a retarded thing to say, even by the standard of your own bullshit made-up vernacular. Smartass. Who is he really? Boyfriend or something? Pfft, yeah, right. Well, okay. I mean, it's been sort of complicated with him. Okay, asking for an explanation on that is pretty much the exact opposite of what I'm doing. And interested is the opposite of what I'm being. Smart ass. Actually, he's kind of a smart assy like you now that I think about it. But you seem calm instead of shouty all the time. Also, you type in bright, bold red. You don't hide the color of your blood like a stupid wiggler. Okay, that remark was almost as boring as it was weird. Oh, pipe down, Dave. I'm trying to pay you a compliment. I'm holding out the interspecies olive branch here, and you are giving it a good, firm sass grab. <laughs> One day you will rule all this sass. Rue. Rue all this sass you have dished, Dave. I'm... You may not be a girl, but you will cry like one when I'm through with you. I don't cry. You will. There will be tears. They will smell salty, and then your cheeks will be my sandy beach. Oh, God. Okay, I will get back to you after you begin playing. That will be next solar sweep for you. Try not to be too impatient for my return. So he's like 11 here? I plan on forgetting about you instantly after this conversation. Yeah, right. You know I have left my mark. I'm seared into your retinas. Seared? Like a big red sun. Well, maybe. Even if that's the case, I'll just forget on principle. That sounds like something that a cool kid would try to do. Yeah, pretty cool kid here, in case you hadn't noticed. I most certainly didn't hadn't noticed. Gallus Calibrator, GC, cease trolling, turn to Godhead, TG. Time to be the awesome cool kid. Oh, shit, what? You are suddenly the awesome cool kid in a different game session in the future, and they are making soup out of you. And he's crying from the onions. Pastor Terzi? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Turn to Godhead TG began pestering Gallus Calibrator GC. What the fuck was the point of this again? Hey, Dave. What is that my nose detects? Could that be... Tears? <laughs> this is bullshit. This is a setup all along. I told you you would cry, Dave. I told you, bro. <laughs> okay, Jigas. Don't say it. If you say I warned you about tears or something one more time, I swear to God. Don't. Don't say you're going to be an acrobatic somersault or pirouette off something. Jesus. Wow, I read that really badly. Don't say you're going to do an acrobatic somersault or pirouette off of something. Jigas. I get it already. Okay, fine. Our memes can cancel each other out this time. Yes, agreed. Now dry those sorry eyes, Dave. Try not to be a fucking wimp. It is unflattering behavior for a cool kid of your stature. God damn it, I'm not actually crying. It's the fucking onions. These piece of shit crocodiles are lambasting me with them. That's the lamest excuse I've ever heard. Whoever heard of silly little onion making someone cry? It is absurd. I guess the stench of onions is covering up the smell of the truth. How convenient. Also, your nose sucks. You're not even any good at smelling at all. <laughs> that is outrageous. But I know you were just trying to get my earth goat for human ironic purposes. The only thing I'm getting is out of this goddamn idiot cauldron here. No, Dave, don't. You're going to make the most delicious soup. It is making me hungry just thinking about it. The only thing I'm going to make is like banana and split out of this bubbling pail of misery. 
Oh, Gog. You're right. You are sitting in a huge pail. Why? What's the relevance of that? <laughs> Tell me it's more <coughs> alien nonsense. It'll be so awesome to hear more of that. I am not going to explain. I would be too embarrassed. Man, why did I ever agree to go along with this horse shit? Because you had to. It was in your future. And besides, you must use diplomacy to win over your consorts. See, look, Dave. They all love you now. You are the hero. It's you. Now they will give you all the secrets of the land. What secrets? They don't have any secrets. Look at them, they're morons. The only secret they've got is how many times a day they accidentally flush their medical alert bracelets down the toilet. Dave, they are stupid and yet very wise. You have much to learn and I'll keep helping you learn it. Even if you're a huge crybaby who is easily upset by chopped vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna change out of this wetsuit and into a dry shut your fucking mouth. Blah. I have to see what happens next even if I'm going over by a bit. Change to four aces suited. <laughs> There's another Dave around the corner. But I wanted the, the Dave suit. I guess I'll read this in the next video. I need to take a break and rest my throat.